Welcome to my first episode of City Skylines. I am Dragonfire. Let's take a look at the map real quick. I look here, I have my starting grid. And I'll show you where it is and we zoom out here. Obviously very very much in the center. We've got two intersections to the expressway that I could utilize. I have a lot more land down here and since I won't have the ability to get bridges too early, I will start down here on this area. It's pretty flat, which is decent, and I have some good farmland down here, a little bit over here. So we'll see where we get where we get to build it, and I'm thinking it's going to end up down here. As I will likely have my industry over here while I build up the community on this side to start. So in this first episode, we are going to try to get up to tiny town uh, within our within an hour or so our industry is going to come off here and they're also going to come up here I'm going to start with this road here it's two lane two way no parking so one lane in each direction we'll keep it elevated to start we'll go straight here turn anarchy back off keep it normal now we'll come back out Come on, 12. 12 is a decent slope. There we go. Okay. A nice, easy slope for that amount of distance. Then, all right, now that we're at the ground level, we're going to go back to the two lane. We're going to have it at ground level. All right, I think I'm going to put the power plants up here as I build them to start. So I want to make sure I have room for them. All right, let's do this. Let's see how big they are. All right, so a power plant is five squares deep. And its width will be, if we look at it here, the width is six wide. So I'm going to make sure that I have enough room. If I put it right here, I won't have enough room. One square will be outside of the map or the buildable area, I should say. So I want to start, I'll pull it in a little bit just to make sure. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'll probably disable that road again. And I did say that I want to have them gravel. That is 18 units. I think we can live with 18 units right there. Let's keep the maintenance down. And I'll leave a little bit of room, keep the uh, buildings off the highway. So I know I need a coal power plant. I need a power plant to start. Then I will get one down there. Now, another two lane gravel. Actually, I also know that I want an inland water treatment. Now they don't dra really generate any traffic, so I can put it facing in any direction I want. Interesting, it won't let me snap it right here. Uh, let's see if we can fix that. Hmm, not really, okay. Priority to newest road. Let's much better. So now come back to the water treatment plant and I want it here. So you notice the old road, the one that existed, doesn't have any zoning on it in this area, but that is perfect. Really quickly, I'll throw out a little grid here. For starters, this is going to be the main road. So when I upgrade it, it's actually going to get wider. Instead of being two units wide, it'll actually end up being one square each on the right and left side. Therefore, it'll be a four wide road. So for now, I'm going to build out. So here, so what I want to do is I want to try to maintain a four square unit for the buildings on the sides of the road. So since the road will get wider when I upgrade it, I'm gonna to go to six, not five, which will add one more square. Then I want one square between the buildings for paths or trees, depending on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to block noise or you're trying to allow pedestrian access, then so that'd be here. Then I want to go another set of five in order to accommodate the buildings in the other area. So you have, you have to go five to maintain four. I'm gonna go another five for the other four. Then I want two more units between the buildings that'll keep one and I will lose one when I upgrade the road. So that will be the first block. So the first blocks that's 
12 units. And they're going to get a little shorter once, once the roads upgrade a little bit. So for right now, I'm going to go with a 12 by 12. Now, the other thing I need is a water tower. Don't want to put the water tower too close to pollution generating facilities, otherwise it will suck up ground pollution and your citizens, your sims, will get sick. So I'm going to put it over this way. It does have a noise generation, but that'll be okay. Again. We just draw a little bit of pipes, get it under the ground, and then the game's now assuming there's pipes and electrical wires running under the roads. All right. So we have everything we need in order to start drawing up people. One thing I wanna do, so I wanna change the budgets. I have dirt roads, they don't need any maintenance. I am overproducing power right now, and I am overproducing water and sewage treatment. So just to spare some money, I'm gonna lower them down. Now, I have an extremely high demand for residential area, but not for anything else. And that will change real quick once the residents start moving in. Now, I do have a whole bunch of money still left over. So I am gonna go ahead and just prep a large area because I know I will need the growth. And I can go quite a ways over here doing this. This will be Main Road, Main Street. And we can actually show that if I go here. We'll make this. Main Street. And I'm going, I want to prioritize this road as well. Oops, I did not hit enter. Main, Main Street. All right, I'm gonna use TMPE. I wanna make a priority. So quick setup of high priority road. Shift, control, click. Uh, we'll come down here, I go shift and control, click. There we go. So now every, every intersection coming onto Main Street has a uh, yield and everything going along Main Street is got high priority, just make it go. All right, now we'll have to make some adjustments to that as we make the road longer. Now, since this is this whole block is kind of centered, I don't want to fill in all of it. I want to leave a little bit open to hold a few things. I think what I can do is I will do one more road there. I will leave this as a double block. And then I can build out here, but I want to keep an eye on the, where this road's going to go. So first off, let's go ahead and zone up a whole bunch of residential areas. Now I want to use the marquee selections. I do not want residential on this road. I'm going to use this for commercial. start with this. Now let's go ahead and see 
I'm going to unpause this and crank it up to three speed while it builds. So let's go ahead and see what we get. We have our first resident coming in. Nope, we have a delivery. Our first coal truck delivery, it is heading toward the coal plant. The coal plant actually, when it starts, it comes with a supply of coal as well. So it actually has about 34 weeks worth of power before it needs deliveries from oil trucks for the coal plant, oil trucks for the oil plant, and so on and so forth. So that is on its way. Let's keep an eye on our town and let's see. Oh, I did forget one thing here. This is not close enough to get electricity. So, we'll go ahead and provide it some electricity. We got people moving in at nightfall. Now, I am going to use the power of the ultimate eye candy tool to stop daytime flow so we can have a good view of building it. We'll take a look at nighttime a bit later. All right, so here we go. Who is the first person in Howard Phillips heading to the Elizabeth residence? Would that not be his residence? So he is moving in. He is heading to this house here. So, the Phillips residence. Why would he live in somebody else's house? That's just not right. Well, let's go ahead and follow him as he uh, travels in. There we go. He didn't want to take the uh, main road all the way down. That was odd. Hmm, Past a couple of the stores. Went all, oops, being chased by a Jeep. Nope. Oh. There we go. He obviously wanted to park on the right side of the road. Yep, there we go. Look at all the people moving in. This is awesome. All right. Let that keep going a little bit. We're, we got 218 population. We're losing a little bit of money. We got plenty to go. Question is, do we have enough residential area for the population. So what we want to get to for the first milestone is 460 population. And we'll take a look at what we get there as soon as we hit it. Everybody wants to come in off of here. So I am curious. There is, aha, uh -huh. hmm, that's interesting. This is interesting, the citizens all wanna, they're, most of them are coming off of here and going that way. It's not the quickest route, or is it? Let's take a look. If you look at the speed limits, hmm. Coming at 65, we're hitting 25s down here and then 20 at the exit. How about we do something about that? This road here, there's no reason why we can't travel at 45 down that stretch of road or this stretch of road for that matter. And since this is 50, there's no reason to go to 65 in here. So we'll change those there that looks a little bit nicer the exit still can be on the slower end yeah let's try that let's see what happens aha more people some of them going that way why are they still going that way very interesting anyway aha here's why they can't turn that is an awkward uh, position Let's see, lane one. 
Aha, there we go. And I just noticed we wanted to take off crosswalks. There's no reason for people to be walking in that. So there we go. So now they, they can go right or left. And interesting. They made it down here, got out of their cars, and walked. Huh. Well, it shows you people want to walk. There we go. We are almost at 460 at our first population. We've got industry going. We got some more need for residential and commercial. So let's go ahead and take a look. Ah, so let's go ahead and throw in a couple more shops just to help take care of that. And then I don't want to do that one yet. Undecided at the moment. Ooh, oh, little hamlets. Here we go. All right. So now that we're little hamlet, we can adjust taxes. We can adjust. We can buy, uh, purchase a loan if we want. In this case, we can purchase a small loan. We will try not to do that. I don't think we're going to need them. Um, now we also have garbage management. Now every citizen creates garbage. That'll be a very high priority. Uh, service to get activated. Then we have healthcare and educational campuses and campus areas. Now, when you start we for education, we will get elementary schools, community schools, which are another type of elementary school. And then we have the elementary school in a different look. Here's our medical clinic in two different design buildings. We have our landfill and we have a recycling center. And now one of the assets I have subscriptions for is some parking lots. Parking lots are extremely helpful and kind of difficult to get in a vanilla game. So I have a few uh, parking lot assets. Now in Angel City, I do have one asset of my creation. It is a sunflower garden. So, and that I will place. You will see that here in a few moments. Now, our next milestone is Worthy Village. We want to get to 900 citizens where we will be able to buy our next piece of area. And we'll have access to oh, a whole bunch of new pieces. We will get to that when we get there. So, for starters, we have high demand for residential, and we will have garbage picking up here in just a moment. I did say we can adjust taxes. Here's our taxes. Right now, everybody pays 9%. Now, interesting fact is this game is capable of 12% income before people complain. We will bump everything up to 12, maximize our income. I won't need to worry about the budget yet. However, once we start making garbage facilities, I want a chance to increase our trucks. If you add 1% to your budget for anything that has trucks or vehicles related to it, you'll actually generate one extra vehicle for a nominal amount of money. Same thing with the ambulances. And then we will do it also for fire and police coverage. Now, again, I could buy a loan if I need to, but I have 40000 and an income over 2000 I don't need to. All right. Hmm. I left the rain on. Let's say we get rid of the rain. We'll use the, we'll turn that off too. There we go. 
this way we can see what we're doing. So, we have a need for not enough workers over here. All right. Let's see, that means everybody is employed right now. However, we do have a little bit of growth for growth requirement for things. We have zoned more commercial and a lot more residential. And so we don't have much of a demand for industry, but we will. So for right now, I am going to give it a little bit more. So I went a cost of 200 or 10 units. fill in order to have a lot of trucks. Now, a landfill is a little larger, so it doesn't fit here. I could put it over here, but its pollution radius is pretty large. And I could try to squeeze one in here a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna have this road come over here and connect, because that put the junction too close to the here. Let's put that right there. And I'll start generating some trucks. We will then go collect some garbage. Yeah, he's full, he's heading back to the facilities. So there, we've got a town that's working out pretty well. We've got a little bit of power problem here. All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look. We are generating 10 megawatts. We are using up 10 megawatts. We are getting blackouts, uh, brownouts at this point. So I will go back over here. Remember, we lowered these. Let's go ahead and lower, raise up our power output to 75% instead of 50. Then we'll want to chuck our water. Water's doing great so far. I won't mess with that just yet. We'll keep our income running in the high area. Okay. Now. Residential growth is waning a little bit. We don't have as much desire for people to move in, so let's make some adjustments. within elementary school, it looks like this. All right, and since most of our residents are up here, I'm gonna stick this up here. Put this on this road here, because it fits in nicely with that two square piece. All right, so what we have here, now that I have that, so let's take a look. So we know we got the electricity up. We know we got water and sewer doing pretty well. We got garbage collection. We have capacity for 9 million garbage units. Uh, we have an elementary school. We have 137 eligible children, capacity for 300. Even though the green doesn't cover everywhere, they're still gonna make it over there. Uh, it's just a little less effective, but it will. Now, let's see, how happy is people? Well, our businesses are pretty happy. Our residents need a little more happiness. And then we have the health of our students. We wanna make sure that they have some healthcare facilities. Uh, let's see here, wind. I don't have any wind power, so we're not too worried about that. Traffic. 93%, 94%, we're doing great. 
pollution. Obviously our yellow industry and garbage collection and power production and noise pollution, obviously right down the main street. This is why you don't put residents on the main street. This is also why we have a little bit of a gap between them. All right, and then traffic routes, we don't need to look at that at the moment. Now, remember I did say I have something special to put in, which I can't do just yet because I can't do parks, but I do have the park I can put in. We'll get to that. So we have some education going. So what we want right now to allow our citizens to be happy, medical clinic, I'll put that over on this side. Why not? Ta-da. Now watch how the happiness goes up. Gone up a little bit. Here we go. See, they're getting happier. Nice, nice. There we go. We're getting there. Oh, an upgrade. Still got a nice in, nice hefty income coming here. So we got health care. We got schools. We got garbage. We're doing pretty well. So let's go ahead and quickly expand ourselves because again, come down here. That's how much area we're using up so far. And we want to make it to 900 for the Worthy Village. So let's go ahead and crank out a little bit more. Now there is another way to uh, spur residential growth and other growths as well. And that is actually to come in and go, boom, let's get a little bit more of that. Watch the residential uh, demand go up a little bit as the taxes are less. All right, we're gonna need more area. Now, one mod I do have is Realistic Population Mod. Therefore, every one of these low residential houses, low density residential house, is one household. And if that is commercial. So every one is one household per low density house. So commercial again. Let's see, one, 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 right? Now, if we look at some of those houses, I think that's an upgraded house. Yeah. If you look at them, they're all one family homes or single family homes. Once we start getting to the high density residential, we'll start seeing a uh, multiple uh, families in one house. All right, so this place was abandoned because not enough workers. I think we uh, have a fix for that. Uh, so right now we got one road in and out of here, and it's right there. I actually want to help them a little bit. I'll make one connection right there. That will actually help facilitate some people getting over here a little bit faster. Worthy village, there we go. So again, I can buy one more area. I can paint districts now. So this will be nice. We'll be able to specialize some of the areas. Policies, second loan if I need one. District specializations. Services policies. Here's some more services. We have fire, police. And now we have access to some unique buildings as we unlock them. We have forestry, special, forestry specialization. Say that quick, it's very tongue twisting. Agricultural specialization. Now these are still yellow 
industry specializations, not uh, industry DLC. Self-sufficient buildings, organic local produce, we have new policies, and here are the new buildings to go with the fire and police. Now, like I said, we want to try to get up to 1400 for this episode. And so let's go ahead and put in a fire because fires are the first things that we don't like. Now I can go with a tall uh, fire station or a short one. I think we'll go with a short one to stick with and the other ones we're using so far. I kind of want it somewhat central. I think we might put it right here. I don't want to put it on the main street. Again, it's going to move over. The main street's going to compress. So really, well, this is main street. So I don't want to put it on main street, but I will put it right here. So it'll have pretty good access to everywhere. So it'll cover here very well. I'm going to take this firehouse and I'm going to put it down here. So they don't normally use the, the roads, but when they do, I want quick access to wherever they're going. So I'll put that there. Uh, lots of upgrades going on. Listen to that. Ding, 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 ding. You know, and all the, the green arrows, buildings being rebuilt. So they like the fact that there is a firehouse nearby. So again, if we take a look at our happiness, it's now going up and up. Now again, we have access to a few more things. So here's our fire safety coverage. All right, so we're really nice right here. Gets a little bit less as you come out. And over here, we have coverage. The roads are green, but these are high risk buildings. Aha, uh -huh. the other thing we can do now is we can want, look at uh, natural resources. So as I said, here we got farming. And then we got oil down here, we got forestry in here, we got a lot of oil up here, ore, more farming in here, more forestry, more ore, lots of areas, a lot of ore or oil in this area as well. So something for the future. Here at leisure, we don't have anything leisure oriented at this moment but we will remedy that here shortly. So what we've got here is a need to expand. So again, I don't want to interrupt a traffic flow through here. And our expressway is going to come through here. All right, there we go. Now I did notice another thing we got going on here. We're starting to get crime. So come back to the police departments or stations. And we'll stick with the same kind of theme here. And hmm, like right now, put them up here next to the clinic. Keep our services in an area. There we go. And now the police are running out. So now we'll actually have 10 cars. Watch. So this is 10 cars. If I go back over to the budget, go to the budget, we'll go. Remember, we want 101%. So 101% for those. So the police now, we went from 10 cars to 11. And we'll have 11 here, or seven instead of six at the fire station. We end up with nine, not eight for ambulances. Increases your effect and effectiveness just a little bit. Now we also need a little bit of security over in this side. And we'll put that right there. Ta-da. And police car goes out. Okay, apparently that one decided to come out. There we go. And now we have no crime issues. Now we have a high demand for residential. Look at that. 
So let's go ahead and let's put in just a couple little store fronts along in here. We'll just drop a couple in. We don't want to use up too much of the space in our higher uh, higher living area. Let's go ahead and zone up a couple different sizes here. All right, so let's go ahead and now drop in a whole bunch of residential. Residential's growing in, it's growing in. We just need a few more people, 200. Still complaining about not enough workers over here. Let's see what we can see. All right, tourism, I don't have any yet. Crime, leisure, natural resources, outside connections. Yep, don't have it yet. Eventually, We'll be able to look at all these areas here, especially here, population. Can't look at it yet. However, I look up here, I have another mod up here that's telling me I have a problem with the water availability. So I want more oomph on that. Well, actually, before I do that, Remember, I can adjust water. There we go. Now we're not using up so much water. Our children's health. Oh, oh that all went away too. Uh, we don't have any offices. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, speed this up and see what we get in here while we're doing that. We could probably use another firehouse down here. Let's go ahead and put that right in here. As we notice, we have 30% fire hazard. So now our fire coverage should be, uh, let's see here. Oh, the fire safety, uh, fire coverage should be pretty good in here. Really good in here. Still not great over there, but it will still work. And we'll throw in a little bit more police coverage and I'll put it right next to the firehouse. And I'll listen to the upgrades going on. All right. That should help make the citizens happier and get us up in population. Uh, let's see here, we could as well 
look at our healthcare. It's decent pretty much everywhere, even without all that. We could always add a little more over here. Go ahead and get rid of that. Healthcare. We'll keep a short building out in this area. A short clinic. Oh, see, we have an electrical issue now. So electricity is not where we want it. We'll go back to the budget. And we'll put it at 100. In fact, we're making enough money. Why don't we just put the water up to 100? That will at least cover us a little bit longer. Quite a bit longer. There we go. Now we have a little more need for commercial. Hey, and we hit towny, tiny town. Here we go. All right, so now I get park areas. So that park, a special park that I built, it'll actually be available to place without me using the find it mod to do it. Uh, I can create industrial areas, landscaping, more policies, more items in there. Here's some more policies that we can install on the city and or districts. I now have access to a lot more roads. So some industrial roads as well. That'll be very handy. I can make some canals if I need to. I've got fences. Here's a bunch of the new parks we have access to. Now we have access to high schools as well. We have a lot and a lot of things. Tennis courts, high school, park maintenance buildings, um, some warehouse yards as well. Uh, I can now, this is a Institute of Creative Arts, is a alternative high school. Uh, oh, freshwater outlets, gymnasiums, dog parks, all bunch of different things. And we reached a population of 900 that actually allows us to build a few items, I believe in here. There you go. Couple of the uh, things from the Oriental Developers Pack, Content Creator Pack. All right, so now that we can do parks, I wanna, I think I wanna make this into a nice park area right here. Well, I don't know. This is gonna be a little different. I think this is gonna be something different. But let's build a park right in here maybe. Yeah, you know I'm not gonna do it this time, but we will do it later. So I will just paint in where we want this park. So we want to put a park in over here. Now, is it gonna be this big? Probably not, it'll probably be bigger. But at least we'll get a good start on where we want it. Now, I am also going to name this first park of the city. Bella Park. So that'll be what we want to do in there. Since I can also do some districts, I'm going to paint up a few here. different districts. This area, in fact, let's go ahead and put a policy on this side. Let's see if I have access to it. We want... Hmm. Nope, not yet. We don't have that one yet. Specializations. Oops, I meant specializations. That's down here. And... So, residential specializations. Let's go ahead and self-sufficient buildings in this district. 
and a commercial shall be the organic and local produce in this section. So the local and local produce will actually instill these to rebuild and be from the Green Cities DLC. I don't have very many, I have just a couple, but now the buildings will rebuild in here as well and take on a different look to be self-sufficient style buildings. As we see, some of them are already grown in. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. All right, and then some of these other ones will work on what we want to do with those as we collect more policies that we can do. I'd like to thank WAC4863, Biffa, and these others for inspiring me to share my playtime with you. Please check out their channels. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe to see more. Ring that bell to be notified when I upload the next video. Thank you for watching.